What's up and good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Pause, pause. Hey, can you clean my lens? Because everybody says there's like something on there too. You got me? Oh, nice. Great work, buddy. We're about to head to the gym, Chris. Are you coming? No. What? what? No. Why? You're dressed appropriately. Thanks. Look at Snazzy today, dude. Good wheel. Uh, work it, work it. It's all about the angles. It's all about the angles. Today, Chris is wearing a Costco flannel. <laughs> So you guys are probably not gonna believe this when I tell you, but we're going to meet up with our good buddy Dave, and it's not chess day. Like, I know, it's crazy, right? Like, that never happens. We oh, and here's a new one for you guys. So, obviously, you guys have been following along uh, from the accident on my last truck, and, and now we're up to about a year and a half since then, and all the chaos and craziness with insurance that I've been dealing with, and every time I think it's over, it's not. Well, guess what I just got in the mail today? I just got a letter from uh, an outsourced company of Anthem Blue Cross, AKA my health insurance, saying, hey, we understand you were in this accident on this day and you know the bill came out to $28,000, we paid $21,000. Uh, you know, we know somebody else was responsible for the accident, so if you could just write us a check for $21,000, because we're sure you got some money out of it, uh, that'd be great, just mail it here. Uh. No. First of all, the guy that hits me, his insurance was absolute garbage and really didn't pay for a whole lot of anything, uh, let alone am I coming out of pocket for health insurance that I have paid for to reimburse them, which is funny because right after the accident, they actually ended up canceling everybody in California, which would have been me. Um, so they paid out that money, canceled me, I had to go find new insurance, and now they want me to pay them back for that money. Like, Sorry guys, not happening. So in true fashion, every time you think something's over, you get another little curveball thrown at you, but all you can do is laugh at this point because uh, if you get stressed out about every letter that shows up pertaining to this accident, it'd be you'd be a mess and you would let it ruin you really fast. And what's the best way to de-stress? Just doing all right. And it's a great Crank up a little Travis trip and take the old Duramax for a What's this guy doing over here in the back of the... Sir, are you, are you trying to break into that van? What's that, dude? I, did, I didn't mean nothing by it. You want front on this? Nah, I got no problem with you, buddy. You this? Nah, I'm oh. good, man. Nah. You good? Hey, you, you have a great day. It's, a, it's beautiful and sunny out. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, Doug. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be non-aggressive with the karate. I'm just hanging out here. I don't know what you're doing. I'm feeling threatened. Hey, man. I'm just being me. You know? <laughs> well, what's up, dog? It's good to see you, man. Dog, it's good to see you, man. Hey. Like, I, I don't think the world's going to believe what day we're doing today at the gym. <laughs> Dude. I mean, like... Yeah, as of <laughs> four days ago, we're back to doing leg day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we have an issue, Dave. Dog, I'm like... No, we have an issue. I know. You would think... Like it's a beautiful day, a little rainy earlier, but ah, it's sunny, fine. the weather's clean, great. Everything's clean. That's true, you know? a nice truck, beautiful day. Right? It was a good day for friends and family. It's true, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, you know, this is probably gonna play on Tuesday, but where's your tank top? That's dirty, dog. I it's mean, been I'm dirty for a you, week. I'm do you not do you, laundry? Like, look, dog, it's, it's either appearance or the way it smells, and when I'm rolling with my good buddies, I go for the way it smells, okay? That's fair. We're gonna make it up to you. We'll have some new what? tank tops rolling out at some point here pretty soon, and we'll get you taken Dog, care of. I'd be honored to wear any any work forward apparel. Well, thanks, I, man. I, really I appreciate that. Yeah. You wanna go get a workout done? Yeah, dog, let's do, so. let's do some shoulders and some, uh, and, and see what we can do with the legs, yeah? Oh, uh, that sounds good. Great work, buddy. Can you guys imagine if Dave was wearing his shorter shorts, just how short they'd be right now? I thought about wearing them too late. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a bad idea. You'd be giving the whole gym a freaking show that they probably didn't sign up for. <laughs> I mean, you are a VIP and you don't pay to come here, so it's cool. <laughs> Dave's not very impressed with my leg day. What's the typical Where weight? What's the typical weight you put up in a leg day? So Dave well, calcs it out first, by a total weight. First I use a machine that's like for a man. Oh, and then okay. No, 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 no. Hold on. In a in a typical leg day, the total amount of weight you put up. So Dave Dave has an app that calculates like total weight over the entire gym session. 
So like each rep of 200, then 400, like it'll calculate. So what is your total total weight moved in a, in a leg day? Like 155, but about 50 of that is from calf. 155,000 pounds. Yeah. 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 But the smoke. Let's just say it all coily. 155,000 pounds is what you move in a leg day. Yeah. Dave. No. Dave, that guy's sparring over there, buddy. You gonna get in there with him? Oh, what's he doing? Nah Nahanki Shodan. Mm, let's see. Oh, he looks like a kickboxer. See on that? You see how you see how he's leaning way back? Yep. Get him. Oh, oh you're body, gonna hit him? If his body's back like this, his momentum's already there. Yep. Like watch him, and then and then imagine just giving him like little like, and he's done. <laughs> Dan, get in there, Dave. If he comes after me first. All right. <laughs> I survived. Leg day. I survived leg day. Dude, I, I did. I watched it with my own eyes. I, I mean, it might have been like a <laughs> a children's version of leg day. Whatever, dog. I mean, you got, you know, four four major exercises in. Well, it was good to see you, buddy. Yeah, Always a pleasure. It. Always is. We'll catch Always you in the next is. video. Your fans love you. Your fans miss you. Oh, I think I get more comments on videos you're not in asking for you than about, like, the video itself. Well, that's... A, that's kind of here, you know, that kind of makes my day. Nice. Well, I mean, we had some, uh, we just had a pretty intense conversation about the Sebring convertible. <laughs> Are oh, you saying know. we need to buy us a Sebring convertible? Well, I mean, if you're, if you're buying, I'm flying. All right. For sure. I'll well, see. here's one thing we have seriously talked about, and I don't know if you guys would be interested. Me and Dave can get real long-winded, and obviously for like a YouTube video, it's not ideal to be real long-winded, uh, but, if you were to put us in front of a microphone in like a podcast and like just let us go for a solid like 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, I, I think we can get to the bottom of the Sebring. We, well, on top of that, like we've got a lot of really cool inside joke stuff and a lot of hilarious stuff that it would take too long to explain in a video. But if you guys would be willing and open to a podcast, I think me and Dave might figure out how to really set one up and get us a time, you know, at least once a week where we can sit down for an hour and podcast for you guys and just kind of give you a little insights to our life, uh, how we met, a lot of our inside jokes. And Rhino's gonna buy me like a gold microphone. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah I, I would do that for you, buddy. Yeah. Or a black microphone spray painted gold. Either one. Either, either, either one. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we might tell you about that one time we went golfing. Woo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we might. This might have to be, yeah, well, podcasts, they can be X rated or R rated. All right. You can have an explicit. A podcast whereas YouTube no. I mean the golf is like I mean that's it, 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 we'll see maybe like our hundredth episode of the podcast Fair. We'll see. but if you guys would be interested in that let us know in the comments and we'll we could probably try to figure that out because I think that'd be really cool to do I, I think I think I, there is a lot worse ways to spend an afternoon than uh, than recording our, a conversation later buddy hey fan looks great look at that front grill that front grill now that it matches is beautiful so now that we got the gym out of the way, we are on our way to meet up with uh, our buddy Rowdy. Rowdy's been working on his Ford, and like I've said in the past, I'm trying to get some more Fords on the channel for you guys. I wish I knew more Ram people. I'd have more Rams on the channel, or Dodges as well, but there's not that many around here that I know personally. Um, but you know, I like to, to provide a lot of different truck content, but also I'm really interested in a product that he used on his truck. It's something that I've seen recently pop up on my Instagram, and it just so happens he actually ended up using it, and the results from the pictures I've seen look really, really cool, so I'm excited to check it out in person. All right, so we just pulled up, and Rowdy's actually over here, cruising around, moved a car for me, which if you could tell somebody's owned a lifted truck at some point. What's up, brother? What's up, man? So we're doing just, the video on the Honda, right? Well, I was just telling him what a huge move it is that you moved the car for me, and that's how you know somebody owns a lifted truck. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. I knew it. Especially in these type of neighborhoods where parking is so oh, scarce. Man. I pay I pay neighbors to move. <laughs> do you? I don't blame <laughs> you, dude. Yeah, how's it going? Dude, the truck looks clean. Oh, you know, this is after driving in the in the rain the last few few days. <laughs> well, this is so. what it looks like not driving in the rain, so I can only imagine. Oh man. This rain sucks. It's just a daily struggle, you know. People don't get it. You know, we build these really nice trucks with aggressive mud tires, and it's then we drive, we drive them in the rain and it just tears them all up. You know, if I ever get disappointed, I just watch one of Mark's videos, then I'm like, all right, if, Mark's, <laughs> if Mark washes his truck two days in a row, then I could do it. You know what, that's true. And then, you know, the rest of the country gives us crap for not taking our trucks off road. Yet come winter, 
and the salt's on the road, all of a sudden everybody's switching their nice wheels. They're putting stock tires and wheels back on the truck so they don't ruin them, but they give us crap for not wanting to ruin ours. Yeah, you know what? It's worth it. I'll, I'll pay, I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll waste the, the dollar every So me and Rowdy, we met at Extreme Auto Fest and uh, you know, we took a, a, a liking to the trucks. Of course. And then uh, I was inspired to grow a beard like him. It's not working, but <laughs> I was inspired. Uh, but you like, you're big into bikes. You, you know, you might have popped a wheelie or two yeah, in, a, yeah. in Mexico, yeah. at, in a, Mexico? At, a, at a time. Yeah, never in the States. Yeah, no. like I would love at some point to get some footage of that. I think oh, that'd, we'll be, we'll that'd be it. sweet. I Maybe got the like, bike in here. Like wheeling, like over a ramp, over the truck. Yeah. Little yeah. Evil Knievel style. I like it. All right, brother, walk us through your truck. I mean, this is, I, like I said, everybody knows I'm a GM guy, but Ford makes a good looking truck. Uh, what year is it? So this is uh, 10 years old. It's a 2009 F-250. Hit 100,000 miles yesterday. Sad Dang. day. Sad day. So we barely uh, drove this thing, huh? You know, barely driven it. It sits here most of the time. Excuse how dirty it is. It's usually uh, really clean, but I've been driving. What are you talking about, dude? These freaking wheels are polished to the nines right now. I'm not gonna lie. Before he came over, I went and sprayed off the undercarriage. All right, fair. But, you know, <laughs> I didn't. You know, I still got dirt and million rock chips from the tires. But uh, you know, right now it's a it's a six inch Top Gun Customs lift. I got a two inch leveling kit in the front to uh, uh, clear clear the 37, 13 fives. So it's a six inch plus what, a two inch spacer or? Um, two or inch, coil yeah, spacer? yeah, down below a coil spacer. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I got, uh, uh, it's the four link. Uh, I've got track bars in the rear. Unfortunately, I got leaf springs, but you know, eventually that's gonna change. Right now, it's trying to make an old truck look new again. Uh, these are just some cheapies off eBay, some 24 by 12 Vision Rockers. Um, not gonna break the bank. They look pretty decent. Uh, throw some True Spike lug nuts on it. A little, nice. Add a little, little uh, spice. Shout out to True Spike. Hold on. Right, wait, True they're right, right. I don't know where I'm pointing on the truck, but they're right there on the truck. Yeah, they're great. Well, I love one them. One of the few real sponsors on the truck. Oh, there you go. That's good. It's good to hear. Um, so, I mean, I did, uh, you know, go recon lights all the way around. Highly recommended on an old truck, on any, even a new truck. Nice. Um, what tires are you running? Uh, these are RBP. 13 fives uh mt they're a real uh they're a real nice <laughs> knockoff of the toyos you know what these things are like a half the price a third of the they? price i mean if you look at that tread pattern and we compare that to the toyo i mean even down to like <laughs> the notching <laughs> is very very similar there i'm all for the aggressive look you know so oh, they, i love so it they, so they did the job you know are they loud uh, you know, I've had people say they're loud, but no, I think they're fine. Gotcha. They're, not, they're not too loud at all, you know. So they feel like a pretty hard tire. I think I paid thirteen hundred bucks all four. Oh, that's cheap. <laughs> I mean, it was like a no. I was about to buy Toyos for almost eight hundred a piece. Oh yeah. And uh, that was a hard uh, uh, pill to swallow. The thing, I, I mean, not even knowing this going in, I've just seen truck pictures of your truck on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, did you have it actually, Manifest? I did. It was kind of hidden. It was a bad spot. Yeah, you guys were in a weird spot. Yeah. <laughs> but in seeing this truck on Instagram, and by the way, I'll put his Instagram like there somewhere. Uh, like it looks nice. It doesn't look like you, you know, had a budget. Like, you know, you were trying to like budget it right. Like, yeah, yeah. I if mean, you compare it to a lot of the other trucks out there, like this is up there with the upper echelon of trucks and it's a 10 year old truck. Yeah. And the thing I like about it is you realize like, dude, there's no point in putting $10,000 wheels and tires on a 10 year old truck. It's, it's, uh, my main goal for this truck is suspension. Gotcha. Coil over front and rear, four link front and rear. Um, I'd like to go up to about 14 inch lift. That'd be the ideal Ooh, size. All right. Um, so I can clear some forties, 15 fives. You could clear forties right now. Ah, these 37s rub. Do so, they? Believe it or not. I got, I got two inch spacers, so. Gotcha. Um, you know, it, uh, but you know what? This truck drives so smooth down the road. Uh, you know, besides the stiff suspension, I mean, the steering wheel is solid. Gotcha. That does, does not uh, vibrate, nothing. Um, 456 gears. Nice. So it's got some pep to it, you know, tuned, deleted. Allegedly. Allegedly. But really, what I'm getting at is you could build a really good looking truck by just 
being smart, shopping around, and yeah. finding really good looking stuff that's not breaking the bank. Because we all know most of these parts are overpriced. I mean, there's not a part that's a thousand dollars, or or I should say less than a thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. So you yeah. could buy. I mean, that's not a forged wheel. No. But it's got a forged wheel look to it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're paying way less than some of these guys that are like financing twenty thousand dollars worth of wheels and tires. And it's like, why are um, you wasting your time? And my money? favorite comment is, "Damn, man, those are nice wheels. How much you pay for them?" And I just kind of chuckle to myself. I say, uh. Not too much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, to me, like pulling up, the truck looks great. I mean, the wheels, how long have you had those wheels? Uh, a year. And the, they you look know. bright as can be. Typically, that type of finish gets real beat up real quick. Especially I clean the, on the inside, deep outside, you know, I try to do my best. Well, so, one of the reasons I wanted to come out and film this truck today is I saw the product you use underneath the truck. Mm -hmm. And I've actually seen them pop up on Instagram pretty recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm assuming they're fairly new. I think so. But they're kind of like trying to replace powder coat. I think is their little like catchphrase. It, it or is. You know, it's. Uh, uh, what is it? Do you have any of it here? I, ha I have one can left. Well, let's let's check can. it out. Let's see check what it, it is. Oh, is this the beast? The beast. Man, that's quite the trick, little gas can. Right? We'll, yeah, there's we'll a lot sit of. Sit up there, do some wheelies, or what? Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of fab work done to this guy. Powder coat everything. All the covers on the motor, the frame. Uh, this was kind of like a, uh, uh, a bike I pieced together with all my friend's parts and uh, made a complete bike. It looks sick. It's, it's a good bike, you know, but the motor, it's a 2003, 2004 body style. And so the motor is 2003, 2004. So how many years is that now? It's 14, 15, 14, 15 years. Yeah. So, you know, I got a 14, 15 year old motor. So I got motor issues. How do they run when they're like up all the time and the oil, like is the oil cool? Or uh, you like get like an oil pickup you, or you run a little extra oil. Gotcha. Um, you know, so there's like a gasket you put in the oil pan that kind of, uh, um, it sticks out further. And which what that does is when you're on a wheelie, it holds the oil to uh, where the pickup is. Gotcha. So you're, you're always picking up oil. And so actually the issue I'm having with this bike is it's not picking up oil. Huh, well. So. They, they make this gasket you put it in there, yeah, yeah. and it'll help you pick up oil. Tell yeah. you what, building a bike's a lot cheaper than building a truck. You know, a lot of these car YouTubers and stuff have it easy. Man. Like, you know, obviously, like, you can make money on YouTube. We're not quite to where, like, we can just throw a bunch of money at vehicles from the YouTube channel. But, you know, we're working for it. But, like, these car guys, like, you can build an entire <laughs> car from scratch for, like, what the rear end on that truck costs. Yeah. So, modifying trucks especially for YouTube, becomes a lot more expensive than a lot of people realize. Like these car guys have it really freaking easy. I know how bikes add up quick. You know, that was like the first things I used to modify before yeah, I even yeah. had my license was dirt bikes and all that stuff. And you know, you go in and you're like, oh man, that set of bars is 350 bucks. Plus, oh, like, plus I gotta buy the risers and the mounts. Like, oh, this is gonna add up quick. Yeah. And then now I wish that was the kind of money I could, like, I could I spend. All right, so what do we got here? So this is Steel It. It's about uh, running anywhere from 20 to $25 a can. It's, uh, they say stainless steel in a can, 3 uh stainless steel, anti-corrosive, and weldable. So, Does it come um, in different colors? Because I feel comes, like I've seen it in different colors. It comes in steel gray and like a flat black. Gotcha. So, I mean, it's a polyurethane aerosol can, and, and then you can also get like a, a gallon and, and do a spray on. Gotcha. Um, but this stuff is like magic. Well, it really, it's pretty impressive that it's still weldable. Yeah, you don't have to uh, grind it down. So I think the main seller point with, with Steel It is uh, like pre-runner off-roads. So if they're out, they have a cracked weld, something breaks, they right. don't have to spend the time for the prep. They can just pretty much go straight weld it, shoot a little Steel It on it, and it's back to normal. No more corrosive and, and uh, um, it's good, man. I'm impressed. I mean, I, I will definitely back this company up for sure. Well, I've uh, seen pictures of the before and after of your truck. Yeah. Like that's impressive. I mean, we could just turn around. Well, we could turn this, around this and look a, at your truck. So this is a good example right here. This is like you know, this is ten years under a truck. Right. It's, it's you know, it's I don't know if it's powder coat or what, but you know, it's got patchy rust and it's just it's just old, ugly. Yeah. It's not very you know, you got a lifted truck. People see underneath your truck. Exactly. You know. Let's see the underside of this truck, cause I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna show you guys the before picture, if you'll send it to me. Yeah, <laughs> I will. But uh. Let's talk about everything you've done under here. So, with a lot of prep, you know, just like paint, prep is the key. 
Um, mind you, I didn't take the axles off. I didn't remove them. Um, I took off as many parts as I can, wheels, shocks, uh, brake lines, calipers, rotors, um, anything I kind of could with here. The, uh, the first day I started, I had a complaint and the city was out here shutting me down. So <laughs> that, out of love, California. I, I had it all on jack stands. All four wheels were off. I was, I was getting ready to tear everything apart, remove axles. And uh, they wanted me to put the wheels back on and, and actually back my truck up because it's sticking in the sidewalk, they say. Oh. So yeah, yeah. let me just spend four hours putting this thing back together. Yeah, to after it. I just got done taking it apart. This is very time consuming. Uh, a, a lot of masking, a lot of prep. Um, but the main thing is, is getting, getting your stuff down to bare metal. You know, everything was rusted over. My old, a, my AFE covers were, were pretty much, uh, served their, their, their time as far as the, the original coating was from the, from the factory. Right. Um, seeing the before and after, I mean, I mean, this is better than what I expect the turnout to be. No, dude, it um, looks killer. Like it. And this, this stuff's good. So far, I've sprayed degreaser, pressure wash, nothing. I, I don't even think it gets water spots, but don't quote me on that. These rusted drive shafts are next. Those are, uh, those are also going to go to the polish shop. If you look down the front, you can kind of see everything done there. I, I, I masked everything off, took everything off I could. Um, you know, the next, what I didn't do on the front, I, I didn't take the, uh, the rotors and calipers off, so... Gotcha. Th that's the next project is to do the front rotors and calipers and, and uh, dust guards and all that. Did you do these four link bars or were these? I, yeah, I did those. Those were originally black um, from, from Top Gun, but it was all flaking. The powder coat was flaking. So. Gotcha. So here's the whole front end all done. And I mean, you guys can see, yes, you're limited to two color options. I'm assuming at the moment, I guarantee at some point they're going to, Yeah. once this stuff starts to become more popular and they spend a little bit more money on r and d other colors. You'll get some more colors, but I mean, to me, I like this color combo with the black. Yeah, yeah, This uh, the black's just engine enamel. I didn't, I didn't buy the black steel it, gotcha. but uh, I definitely- Well, so the black steel it would be matte, right? Yeah. Be now, how many cans did it take you to do this, everything you've done so far? The front was about five cans. The rear was about five and a half. So you're so, 200 and something bucks? 250 max. So, is you know, I, I got a, uh, Actually, I'm not going to tell you who I got it from because I don't support their business. Um, <laughs> I did. Was it Fuel Wheels? No. no. Okay. <laughs> but if you can order online, I, I recommend doing it. Uh, uh, they brought it. I, I bought five cans, so they brought it from twenty-five to twenty dollars a can. Oh, nice. There you 100 go. Hundred bucks. So I'm pretty impressed. This this is kind of a band aid for what I got planned in the future. So. Gotcha. Well, that's the thing. I mean, for two hundred bucks, you get a truck that looks killer for however long you want it to look killer. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say this, but if you're like gonna sell your truck, like. Oh, it's a big, it's, 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 uh, when somebody looks under it and they go, well, where's all the rust? And you yep. know, it looks, it look, it's, a t it's 10 years old. Oh wow, it looks brand new. Yeah, oh, if you were to sell this 100,000 miles, you look underneath it, once the drive shafts are done, you see no rust. I mean, you're gonna get top dollar for this truck. Well, I mean, would you mind firing this thing up? I'd love to hear what she sounds yeah, like with it, with the little axle dump exhaust. Sounds good. Not too loud, not obnoxious. All right, cool. Well, hopefully uh, you guys see Steal It and maybe that's a, a good option for a lot of you guys. I appreciate you kind of walking us through how it transformed your truck. And one thing we were kind of talking about off camera was, you know, I, I mentioned all the time living within your means and, you know, he's saving up for a house. He could drop a bunch of money on this truck and make it like cool, crazy, forward linked ultimate air ride, whatever, yeah. which he would love to do, Yeah. but he's practical and he knows like, no, I mean, for 200 bucks, I'll make it look good enough for now. I'm saving up, I'd rather spend money, buy a house, and then at that point, once I'm settled and financially stable again, then maybe we'll put some money into the truck. But yep. priorities, priorities are huge. A lot of the younger generation these <laughs> days aren't owning houses, everybody's renting, and then they wonder why they, you know, they're spending 50, 60 grand on a truck, putting 30 into it, and wonder why like they can't get ahead, or they can never get a house, or they would love to get a house. Let me tell you, get the house first. Yeah. <laughs> Once you have the house with a cheap enough mortgage or a decent mortgage, and then you have a little bit of money on the side with some saved and you can spend a little bit on your truck, that's the time to jump in and do oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I also like to preach kind of like what people do for a living. And we had talked off camera, but give like a, a 30 second rundown of what you do for a living just to. Uh, electrical, solar, operations, uh, you know, 
I work for it on a day to day basis. Don't make excuses. I get up and uh, I, I pay for the things I want out of life. There you go. And I mean, I hate to say it's that easy, but it, like, it really is. It's a really simple concept. Execution takes a minute. You got to be willing to get out there. You got to be willing to try new things. You got to be willing to apply for new jobs. But once you're set and you're executing and you have a job and you can get out there and work for it, it's really that simple. Work hard, save a little bit of money, buy stuff you want. I mean, hey, you'd be surprised. Sometimes just showing up to the job is a is a struggle for a lot. So, <laughs> you know, you get hired on a company and you kick some ass. You got a lot of room for growth. That's you know? it. Cool. So with that, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you, brother, for showing us off of your truck, of showing us the new product. Hopefully in the future, we uh, get this thing up and running and we, we can do some sweet wheelie videos. I like it. I'll be on the handlebars. You can wheelie or... I'm down for it. All right. Whatever works. We do tandem. I'm down. Perfect. Cool. <laughs> so as always, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. There you go, brother. You you go ahead and take the, the roll the outro. Oh, what? What do you want me to do? You, you gotta say roll the outro. In roll the that. outro. You can say it cooler than that. Roll the outro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.